all right uh, this is crude oil and then now you can see this is a daily chart and uh, in this area we have seen a correction so they are running like a wave uh, impulse pullback impulse pullback and the impulse pullback right so right now here again some most of the people are thinking hey it will bounce from this area or it will continue to add the downside so this is the big mistake that people are doing here first we must find out the resistance and support uh, in a daily time frame in the daily time frame we have seen the uh, 200 exponential moving average have you seen that i drawn as a resistance line means i need a breakout all right so and another here you can see another supporting line somewhere here this is a supporting line all right so we have seen this is this is called rain so if you want to enter in this market so you must trade in between this range so that is an important uh, level so i'm expecting that price will drop to the level of uh, 3345 so here you can see 3345 three, so i'm expecting that price will sorry not zero 3345 and I'm expecting that price will drop to this level. And here you can see price was rejecting from this area. So means they act as a support. And means here you can see uh, I'm looking for short till 3345. Now let's jump to small time frame like H1. And in H1 time frame, you can see price already broke this 200 exponential moving average. Have you seen it? 200 exponential. So we are expecting that price will hit the level of 33. Of uh, four, uh, four, five, four, five. All right, that is our supporting line. So if you not see in a small time frame, uh, like 15 minutes. So in a 15 minute, we must find out the market behavior. Now, what is the market behavior right now? All right. Now you can see price are bouncing off, uh, moving average 200. Just 10 minutes. Okay. okay. They are bouncing off 200 exponential moving average. You see? Bouncing off, bouncing off, and the bouncing off. Uh, right now, here you can see price already bounced off uh, 200 exponential moving average. But I'm looking for a pullback now. I'm looking for a pullback, or you can say correct on. So definitely, I'll go for short. Or in this, in this area, we can use breakout trading strategy. So let me show you. What will be the breakout range trading? Like uh, that is the last lower point. So here you can see this one. Okay, horizontal line I drawn, and you can say this is a support. All right, so here exactly support. So in that case, we are looking for a breakout candle, and we're gonna apply here breakout range strategy. So uh, that is a, another uh, entry point. So once the break or this level or and we are looking for a completely open and close should be below the supporting line and we we'll place our sell order that is our first entry or another we press pull back pull back to the level and we are looking for a bearish candlestick pattern somewhere or bearish confirmation so we'll go for short all right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching